In the previous test, I've shown how I can make a GraphQL request using SI request and forming the query myself and providing variables. Now, this is convenient, but this is not necessary. All those methods like uh, URL, configuration parameters, custom operation name, headers, all this is already known in the client created by the application itself. We can actually reuse that client here from our aspect so that we can make the request the same way. I know it's export the client. So here's what we can do. We're going to import a GraphQL a helper from Apollo client, and we're going to import the client from the application source code. In our test, after we make the request, right, we get the ID. So we can use that ID variable to actually make a request using this client. Now, in order for us to make a request, we have to compile it from the query. So this query will be formed using this uh, syntax helper. We are writing a query to get to this. It requires an ID. This will be this ID. We'll pass it as a variable. And now we can execute client query, right? Uh, and the client is our GraphQL client. Now here, we can certainly call this. The problem that this is asynchronous call and Cypress has, will have no idea that it has to wait for this. This returns a promise, and if we want to tell Cypress to wait for that result, right, then we can just use command Cyrap that will put the promise and make sure it runs after then finishes, then whatever this asynchronous operation, the promise results, and only then the next Cyrillot runs. Let's see how it works. Okay, well, the test certainly did not crash. Let's open the DevTools, and inside the console we can see this wrap, right? This is Cyrap, and this should show us result of the client GraphQL query. Notice it yields data and it yields the to-do. So we fetched the to-do from the backend using GraphQL call, but we didn't have to form it ourselves. We just were concentrated on the query. And we can validate the result. We're going to grab the data property, the to-do property, and should include the things that we know the values for, like ID, completed, and title. Perfect. So this is how we can reuse the Apollo client from the application code so that we don't have to write the SI request details ourselves. And instead, we can rely on normal GraphQL query writing and mutation writing.